in college, I was at the cafeteria, and I was looking at the apple pie, and I was like, I want this so bad, but I don't have enough money. And then I turn around and bumped into this guy, and I recognized this little peppercorn eye, you know, they look like black peppers, and his cheek were poofy like a blowfish, and he has <laughs> lips that look like a chicken's butthole. And I said, I, I, I recognize this guy, Marc André, what are you doing? He was like, hey, Devine, you know, and he was in my class from like first grade to fourth grade, and there he was in the class, and he said, hey, you know, like, you want to hang out sometime? I'm like, sure, and I forgot about the apple pie, but he noticed it. And then we talked for a few weeks, and um, then he wanted to ask me out, and I was not interested. Um, in college, very serious, I had to study and everything. And, um, and then one day he said, what do you do for fun during the weekends? And I said, I have to work at my parents' inconvenience store. <laughs> and, uh, and he said, where is it? I said, on Ontario Street. He said, are you there every week? I'm like, yeah, every Saturday from 9 to 11, the whole day. And one day he showed up. And I said, how did you find my store? And he said, and he showed up with an apple pie. And I said, how did you find it? He said, I went into every single convenience store on the whole street until I found you. Oh. And I thought, wow, that's really creepy. <laughs> and and uh, he's like, come on, you know, like I showed you some effort. Like, like you, you like apples. Can I take you apple picking? I have a car. And I'm like, do you want me to go in the middle of a field with you alone? And I said, look, the orchard closes at 5, so if I take you at 4.30, I cannot kill you in 30 minutes. <laughs> then I said, okay, sure, let's go. So we went there. It was actually fun. We made out under an apple tree, and I was like, hey, this is fun. I'm young, right, YOLO? Well, that was before that word existed, <laughs> but that's how it felt like. And I took him home, and I have no, I was young, don't judge, but I ended up taking his clothes off. I stayed fully clothed, but I just wanted to see him naked for some reason. And, you know, he didn't complain at all. <laughs> but then the door opened. My uncle, you know, came in and out of my house randomly for, to pick up stuff. My grandma lived at our house, so, you know, he... So my uncle came in and I told him, I said, downstairs now in the basement! And he was like, what? So. He ran downstairs butt naked, and my basement is a split level, and half of it is like half, it's like in being John Malkovich, I don't know if you've seen the movie, there's like a half floor. <laughs> so he had to bend over naked and sit on an unfinished basement floor, butt naked, and he hid there for three hours. <laughs> and my uncle was like, Wait, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm just so stressed out, I have all these midterms, you know, a school, blah. And he kept on talking and talking, and I, you know, we didn't have iPhones yet. I couldn't have just texted him like, stay put, don't move. You know, like I couldn't say anything. I was worried that he would come out. And then my uncle finally left. And then the guy just went upstairs and he said, you want to continue? And I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, go, go now. You're not even supposed to be naked and in my house. Just go away. And uh, we saw each other like, a few days later after in school. And I found out he had a girlfriend. And that's it. I've never seen him again. Thank you.